Hi everyone, welcome back to Lulu Math. This video is on multiplying a monomial by a polynomial, and we are going to be using the distributive property uh, to do so. So some background knowledge that you're going to need to have is uh, you're going to need to know how to multiply monomials. So if you need a refresher on that, make sure you check out that video um, as well on Lulu Math or at the YouTube channel. So in this example right here, it's asking you to multiply 3 by the quantity 2x plus 9. Okay, so we're going to use the distributive property in order to do this. So in this example here, we're asked to multiply 3 by the quantity 2x plus 9. Um, so essentially what it's saying is we need to have uh, three sets of this uh, 2x plus 9. So pretty much I've got 2x plus 9, we've got one set, and then a second set, and then a third set. So all together, when I put my like terms together, 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27, and then 2x plus 2x plus 2x is 6x. So my answer would be 6x plus 27. But here's the thing. You're not going to want to write this out multiple times. Let's say, for example, this number here was a 10 instead of a 3 or a 100 instead of a 3. You're not going to write it out 10 times or 100 times. Also, sometimes uh, the monomial on the outside that we have here isn't always going to be a single number. Sometimes it's going to have a variable, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. So this is where we're going to use the distributive property, where we are going to multiply the monomial through to every term in the brackets or in the parentheses, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and write this example down again. So it's 3 multiplied by 2x plus 9. So I'm going to take this 3 on the outside right here, and I'm going to multiply it through to every term. Now, the terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So this 2x is considered a term together, and because there's a plus sign here, it separates it from this 9, which is considered a second term. So again, I'm going to take the 3 and multiply it through to the 2x. So 3 times 2x is 6 x. Then I'm going to take this 3 and multiply it through to the 9. And 3 times 9 is 27. So you end up getting the same answer. This is just a shorter, quicker way of doing it. So now in our next example that we have here, we're asked to multiply 5x through to the 4x plus 2. So uh, don't forget that when you multiply monomials, you need to add exponents. So first, I'm going to multiply 5x through to 4x. So when I multiply 5 by 4, I end up getting 20. And then I've got x to the power of an invisible 1 multiplied by x to the power of another invisible 1. So I get x to the power of 2. A common mistake that people will make is that they will not include this uh, squared here, and they'll just say 20x, which is not right. And we'll talk about why that's not right in a couple moments as well. Now, distribute the 5x through to the 2 as well. So 5x multiplied by 2, 5 times 2 is positive 10. And then there's an x here. There's no x's here, so there's a single x here. And this is my final answer. Now, really quickly, if I were to do this 5x times 4x plus 2, the incorrect way that we just talked about, if you notice, in our brackets, there are no like terms. The 4x is different than the 2. But if I were to multiply the 5x to the 4x and accidentally say 20x, this is a no, this is a big no, um, and then multiply the 5x through to the 2 and I get 10x, then you end up with like terms, which is incorrect because these were not like terms to begin with. Okay, So this, this 20x squared plus 10x, is the correct answer. Okay, in our next example, we are asked to multiply this negative 4x through to this 2x squared minus 9x minus 15. Now, if you notice, this time we have a monomial and it's being multiplied by a trinomial. There are three terms. This is my first term. Then I see a minus sign, so that tells me I have a second term. And then I see another minus sign, so that tells me I have a third term. Now, one quick note, you can multiply a monomial by any number of terms, any type of polynomial inside your brackets here, and the process is going to be the same. Let's go ahead and do this. So negative 4x gets multiplied to this 2x squared. Now, negative 4x is x to the power of 1. So negative 4 multiplied by 2 is negative 8. Then I have x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2. So I get x to the power of 3 because 1 plus 2 is 3. That's my first term. Now I'm going to multiply this negative 4x 
to the power of 1 through to this negative 9x to the power of 1 here. Make sure that you uh, take into consideration the fact that this is negative and this is negative. So a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. So this ends up being positive, and then negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. And then x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 2. Again, common mistake is that people will say 36x, which is totally wrong. So make sure you don't do that. And then lastly, we're going to multiply this negative 4x through to this negative 15. And negative 4x times negative 15, a negative times a negative is a, another positive. And then I get 60 because 4 times 15 is 60. And then there's an x to tag along. And this right here is my final answer for this question right here. In this next example that we have here, um, we have a little bit more of a complicated question. So we're going to take this 4x squared, this monomial that we have here, and we're going to multiply it through to this 5x plus 3. And we're going to stop multiplying at that point because this uh, set of brackets or this set of parentheses has closed after that 3. Then we have a new um, monomial that we can see here, this negative 6 x right here, that needs to get distributed through to this entire 2x squared minus 8. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to take 4x squared and I'm going to multiply it through to this 5x to the power of 1. Well, 4 times 5 is 20 and then x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 3. Then I'm going to take the 4x squared and multiply it through to this 3 right here. Well, 4 times 3 is positive 12, so I'll write plus 12. And then x squared is just going to get written down here. Now I am done with this 4x squared. I'm done distributing it because this set of brackets has closed. So the next thing that needs to get distributed through is this term right here. And don't forget this negative in front right here. So I have to distribute a negative 6x through. So negative 6x is going to get multiplied by 2x squared. Well, this is um, negative 6 times 2 gives us negative 12. So I'm going to write down minus 12 and then I've got x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2 so this gives me x to the power of 3. Then I'm going to distribute a negative again 6x through to this negative 8. So negative 6 times negative 8 is positive 48 and then I've got x to the power of 1 and no x is here so I've got x to the power of 1 right here. Okay, now that I've done that, the only thing that I have to do is look and see, is there anything that can be simplified? This time we have things that can be put together because I distributed on two separate occasions. In all the other examples that we looked at before, um, we had one monomial getting distributed to unlike terms. Okay, so that's the difference. Now looking at this right here, I have 20x to the power of 3, and then I'm going to look and see, are there any other x's to the power of 3 that I see here? And I do see this negative 12x to the power of 3. So 20 combined with negative 12 gives me 8. So I've got 8x to the power of 3 uh, to put together here. Then I have 12x squared right here, and there are no other x squared, so I'm just going to copy down plus this 12x squared. OK, and then lastly, I have this 48x right here. There's nothing like the 48x. so I'm going to write down plus 48x. OK, and this is going to be my final simplified answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below or reach out at lulumath.com, where you can also find blank or completed notes from this video. If this was useful to you, please uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and share with others. Uh, see you next time.